How come I've never seen you people before? Because we are the people you do not see. We are the ones who drive your cabs. We clean your rooms and suck your cocks. In this video essay, I'll be discussing the somatic elements of mise-en-scene and cinematic photography expressed in the movie Pretty Dirty Things, directed by Stephen Frears. Having these two elements allows the movie to visually tell a story of the people you don't see because of their profession, their class position, their race, and their legal status. In these establishing high-angle shots earlier on in the film, Chris Menges, the cinema photographer, does this to introduce our main character, Anqui. He works around the clock with two jobs to stay alive. By day, he is a taxi driver, and by night, he is a hotel concierge. Coming from a documentary oh, background, Menges uses the tones of dark natural appeal of red, gold, and green color palettes throughout the film, while also accentuating the practical scheme to draw in the viewer. This allows the feeling of the cutting-edge tale of what is going to happen, but also warm and comforting feelings to allude to a romance narrative. Note of the establishing long shot of Onkui working at the hotel desk. The key lighting of the scene appears to be the use of the dim lighting in the lobby. By doing this, it adds the color palette of war the warm tones. The gold enhances the red, which makes the shot more inviting and appealing. On the contrary, the establishing shot also adds to the tone and the mood of vulnerability by the fact Onkui only occupies a small portion of the frame. In a way, it elaborates with the matter of how little he has in life. All right. Oh yeah, um, you might want to send someone to check on the room. There is a problem. How should I know? The introduction of the dialogue, Is There a Problem?, creates the element of suspense. This is the first obstacle our protagonist is facing. The establishing high-angle shot of Onkui walking into the room. The use of the sound allows us to understand it is a type of plumbing issue. The camera then cuts of a medium shot of a toilet overflowing. The viewers are at ease, and the sense of annoyance is shown on Onkui's face. Here we see an iris camera effect from the perspective of looking at Onkui from the inside the toilet. This allows us to see his face when he first sees the blood coming from the toilet. The camera cuts then gives a profile shot of Onkui's face. He looks to be disgusted and curious at the same time. The camera then cuts to a point of view shot of Onkui's hand going to grab the blockage in the toilet. The tension and suspension is increased with surrounding one central question. What is in the toilet? Enforcement Directive. On the door. The introduction to a frame story begins here. Unquai, un unable to live on his own due to being an illegal immigrant, stays with a co worker illegally. The use of the sound is vital in the scene. From the pounding knock to the immigration police running through the apartment like a bull in a china shop. Sometimes, Shania, a woman in your position can be exploited. There are lots of people living in London without any kind of papers at all. They prey on people like you. Prey? There is someone living here. There is no one living here. You are aware, Shania, that your ELR status means you're unable to accept rent. You're seeking asylum. I engage in employment of any kind for at least six months. You're not working, are you, Shania? Mind if I use your bathroom? Your case is under review. Due to the immigration police putting her under review, Shania was forced to quit her job at the hotel and find work elsewhere. In this scene, we see the police investigating to find her at her new job. 
as you see the panic in the amount of people who do not have papers. The shot was filmed with a steady cam to allude to the high priority it was to evacuate. The owner is left sitting alone sewing a shirt. The juxtaposition between the police and the sweatshop owner is a matter of class and society. The police are filmed in a low, medium angled shot, which symbolizes their superiority. Their attire is a tailored suit and a groomed back ha black hair. On the other end of the spectrum, the sweatshop owner is filmed in a close up, high angle shot. This makes him seem inferior to the police, and his profession isn't as significant. His attire is more casual with an outdated Hawaiian shirt, and his hair is almost fully gray. This symbolizes the exhaustion. The background of the shot showcases the re restless business behind him. Here, take a look at this. French. It's a work of art. There are two Lebanese guys I use who are the best in London. The scene begins with a two-shot, medium close-up of Anqui and Senior Juan. The camera is on a dolly or tracking system to allow this easy movement and showcase the walking of the characters in the continuous shot. As the tension is increased when Senior Juan puts his hands on Okui, the sound becomes increased. The viewer is understanding this is where the ultimatum strikes. What is Okui going to do? Senior Juan is filmed with a close-up high-angle shot, while Okui is shot with a close-up low-angle shot, making him appear more confident and collected. This is unusual because from the dialogue, it seems Juan is attacking Onkui. It is a foreshadowing that Senior Juan is no longer in control and will be brought down. Each time you operate, you get 3,000. A passport for you and me. One for Shenai. Take her on honeymoon. I do not want to get involved. You could even go back to Africa. And no one would know who the fuck you are. Your choice. No rush. I just wanted to put a little wasp in your head. How come I've never seen new people before? Because we are the people you do not see. We are the ones who drive your cabs, we clean your rooms, and suck your cocks. Frears and alongside his crew do an impeccable job of bringing up the social issue of the people you don't see. Oakley, Juliet, and Shania are just symbolize few of the many individuals who are the people you are denied an identity despite their vital labor because of their profession, their class position, their race, and their legal status. The immigrants seek acknowledgement of existence, and if an abstract document gives them legitimacy within the system, nothing will stop them to achieve it. This is social issue is close to home with the recent controversy due to the Syrian refugees. This concludes the video essay of Pretty Dirty Things directed by Stephen Frears. Thanks for watching.